there is actually an evaluation body that person Akuma does not want to share mm-hmm. that will help UK train nurses and the even more amazing thing is those who did just a two years MSc the fast track nursing program they also qualify wow only UPC has a key so if you are interested find me for those who are seeing Priscilla for the very first time, Priscilla is a Ghanaian nurse who trained in Ghana but currently practicing as a nurse in New York. I've done so many videos with Priscilla. She has her own consult, US RN Pathway Consult. She helps people, she guides you through the process of registering as a nurse in the US. She'll show you which licensing state or whatever, whatever to go through to make your process simple, mm-hmm. all the tips and the tricks and all of that to make your process easy. She will guide you through that, obviously for a fee. I've compared my pay slip with hers as well. We've done so many videos together. So, so many videos together. Okay, she's here to tell us more about her consoles, but this time around, specifically for nurses in the UK who, like me, are thinking of going to the US someday, (laughs) right? But the scary thing now that I was even discussing with Priscilla before I hit record was that now, if you really want to go, don't delay because of retrogression. And I think that we should make that thing very clear because Priscilla, the reason why I even said that is that I know about six nurses, UK nurses, who have passed past NCLEX and are still in the UK. Some of them passed eight months ago, they are still in the UK. So I was even telling my friend Joyce that she was really lucky because her process took just about a year. But I know people who have written it over a year ago and are still in the UK. UK or not Ghana. So I can only imagine those from Ghana. Please tell her what is really happening. I've done a video about retrogression, but you are in the US, you have a consult, you assist internationally trained nurses to go to the US. What is retrogression and to beat that, what do we have to do? Okay, thank you very much, Nanel. It feels good to be back again on your channel. You guys already know my name is on the screen, Priscilla Kuma Aren. Originally from Ghana, I have a YouTube channel, Priscilla Kuma Aren. I practice nursing. I've done so many things. Currently, I do travel nursing, which I'm saying this online for the first time. And I'm the lead consultant for US RM Pathway Consult, uh, what people know as UPC. We help nurses who want to work in USA, as Nanel said. Today, we're talking about how UK trained nurses and nurses based in UK can work in USA, despite the retrogression. So let me talk about the retrogression first, and then we dive into this. So pretty much, it's a just like backlog, whereby uh, there's a list they are going by due to COVID and other factors. There's been a delay in processing documents for people who want to migrate to the USA. There are different visa categories, and when somebody is migrating for work uh, on an EB3 visa, an employment-based visa is permanent. You are leaving to go stay in the USA for as long as you want. And there's a delay, there's a backlog, because there are so many skilled workers who migrate on that visa. So we hear the word and then we panic, but it's been going on for years. It's not a new thing at all. People know India has that retrogression as far back as 10 years. People have been waiting in India for 10 years to get to the USA. And unfortunately, it's hitting other continents as well. And in Africa, Ghanaians, Nigerians, Kenyans, we are all affected. Pretty much, you pass, you apply, but it takes a longer time for them to get to your case and call you for an interview and give you a visa for you to enter the U.S. It can take between two years to four years. So is it based on the country you are in or is it based on the passport you are holding? So it could be both factors. It could be the country you are in. As I said, India has a special case because they are from India and the population is large and it could be the passport you are holding as well. Somebody who is Indian but is in UK and is British now, the Indian rule will not apply to her even though she's originally Indian. Indian, but she has a British passport. So your location matters and the country you come from matters. So it depends on both cases and the kind of visa category you are going on. If somebody is going for a medical reason, you're not going to wait for four years. You'd have been dead by then. So migration has become a thing since 2020. People are trying to relocate so much. So that category has faced a lot of backlog because so many people want to get to the USA because of hard times in their country. And Ghana, Nigeria, and most of the countries out there happen to be victims, sort of. Yes, that's pretty much a retrogression. But I always encourage fellow skilled workers, not just nurses, doctors, pharmacists, engineers, whoever wants to be in the USA, apply, be in line, who we'll get your turn. And my personal friend waited four years and she finally made it here a year ago. She waited four years in line to get a date for an interview and she was from Ghana. Yes, and I ran. And now she's in the US. So she mm-hmm. waited four years. And like I said, Joyce waited about a year and she was a Ghanaian nurse but was living in the UK. And like I said, I know several other nurses. But I think the best and the important point that you mentioned is that if you 
ever dream of going to the US. Don't keep saying you're not ready yet, you're not ready yet. Just start the process and get in line. Because at the end of the day, retrogression is going to let you delay four years more or two years more, depending on the situation at that time. Because now there's a backlog affecting almost everybody. Like you said, Indians are waiting up to 10 years. That's, that's crazy. And so if you plan on going in five years' time, maybe you should start now so that by five years' time, your time will be due. Especially for the UK nurses who are waiting for permanent residency or waiting for their passport before they go. If you have three more years before you get your British passport, don't wait till you get it then. Because that means you'd have to wait in the UK for three or four more years after the passport. So start getting in line now. That's why today's video will be a benefit to you. So what is UPC doing for UK nurses that want to go to the US? Okay. So for the longest time, UK trained nurses, nurses who schooled in UK, have had that information that they cannot work in USA because the curriculum is entirely different, which is not entirely false and it's not entirely true as well. A lot of UK nurses have tried going through other evaluation companies and then they get bounced or denied or get negative reports. There are so many evaluation companies you can use to evaluate your transcripts or your educational background and your professional license before you can work in USA. That's one of the steps. Evaluation has to be done before you can even write the NCLEX, which is the USA licensure. And we know the biggest evaluation company, what we call CGFNS, and they have turned down all UK trained nurses who have gone there and they are very pricey. They are above $480 upwards and people get rejected and then they say oh you can't work in usa because this company turned me down but the truth is there are other evaluation companies that only upc knows because you have a personal relationship with them they can evaluate your documents for you if you trained in uk if you schooled in uk they will evaluate your report for you because they use a different strategy to do it to do the evaluation and then you come with a positive report and you can successfully write and class and pass. I have displayed a lot of UK trained and class passes on our website and I've interviewed a few on my channel as well. So it's doable for UK trained nurses. And we have two categories we look at. We do people who have bachelors or even the MSc. Yes, the MSc UK trained nurses have successfully gone through UPC. The recent person on my channel, he's MSc. So he only UPC. MSc. Yeah, only UPC has a key. So if you're interested, find me. <laughs> I interviewed a lady on my channel, a beautiful lady on my channel. She's called Nes Belinda. Her story is so inspiring. She came to UK to work as an au pair. Like she was sort of like helping people with childcare in their homes. Then she started working and then she paid her own fees, tuition through nursing school, became a nurse in the UK and was now in medical school as well, paying her own tuition to become a, a doctor like her. I think her I remember her. Mm -hmm. so beautiful. At the moment, she is in the US. Her husband is a doctor. Yeah, from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And then I I know very well that now she started practicing the nursing in the US. But I remember very well in the interview, when she was talking, she mentioned that the evaluation body she used said that she was not eligible to become a nurse in the US because of some of the courses she did. I think they did not do certain courses or the credit hours or whatever, whatever did not tally with what the US expect. So she did not qualify because I'm going to the US as a student. So basically at this I point in time, right. and, clicks and go as a nurse instead. Because the UK qualification does not is not recognized in the US. Which UK qualification? Your nursing qualification. Your nursing UK qualification. It is. Because when I processed my CGNF application, they said because I did adult nursing, gynae is missing. Um oh. you know what I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there's certain um criteria you need to fill out. Um, in order to be able to go. So they didn't um, uh, take my nursing degree qualification. And that was very surprising. I'm like, a Ghanaian nurse is qualifying to go to America. How come a UK of all nurses is not qualifying? And then it was very strange to me, but a lot of people shared similar experience in the comment section of that video. And even of late, I've seen so many videos on TikTok about that. I'll try and see if I can find one and I'll put it here, where lots of UK trainers are being bounced, that they cannot become nurses in America. So hearing this is really good news, that there is actually an evaluation body that Priscilla Kuma does not want to share, that will help UK train nurses. And the even more amazing thing is, those who did just a two years MSc, the fast track nursing program, they also qualify. Wow. Interest. Wow. Because I have a, an extended family member who wanted to do the MSc in the UK, right? But the person's dream is not UK. The person's dream is the US. And the person asked me if the MSc is accepted in the US. I just said no. Because even the three years, they are not accepted. They will not accept the fast track two years. I just said no. But so hearing this is good news. Wow. Wow. So what category of UK trained nurses are we talking about here? Is it just every category? Okay. So we are focusing on those 
those who studied adult nursing and psychiatry nursing. Those are the two we are focusing in. And then if you have the bachelor's or the MSc. So adult and psychiatry is what we are focusing on now. The last person I interviewed, he did the MSc. Uh, Suzanne was also on my channel before. She did adult nursing and she actually has her own YouTube channel. She's practicing in the US. She's in the ICU in the US here. Yeah. Wow. So what will make somebody choose your consult over others? What's so special? So I can give you a thousand reasons why you should choose UPC because number one, you try it yourself, you would waste your time and money. You would not make a headway. Take it from me. You would be bounced and then you'd have to come back to me because that has been the terrain. People come back saying that this is my report I got from this company. They said I don't qualify. It would be a waste of your time. So UPC has a key because we have working relationship with most of the evaluation companies in the USA. So they prioritize our nurses for us. We have a personal relationship. We call them on the phone and then they look in that person's file and fix whatever the problem is. Other companies, you can't even call them. If you call CGFNS, you're going to be on the line three hours wasting your international call credit. And that is the truth. Even those of us who live in the US can't get hold of them. So we don't even call them anymore. They want you to text them and email them, which doesn't go anywhere. Yes. Number two, we have a dedicated case manager that will assign to you that will walk you through the process one at a time, one by one. We are available on WhatsApp, on call 24-7. We know the time zone and everything. You can text us anytime and we are there to respond to you. Number three, we have other resources. We have a UPC Academy where we train nurses so that you follow the curriculum of the USA. You're able to write the anklets and pass. And luckily for all those in UK, you have a center. You don't have to travel to a different country to write. So we are able to guide you to do your fingerprinting. We know the exact police station in your zip code in your area, even though we don't live in UK, that we can tell you to go and get your fingerprinting done. There are so many reasons why you should choose UPC. And we're very transparent because you can put a face to it. You can see me online every time. You know where to find me if something goes wrong. So yeah, there are so many reasons why you should choose UPC. Wow. And if I may ask, how many years have you been in existence? And then how many UK nurses have you helped to relocate to the US so far? Okay, that's a very good question. So UPC has been working for over three years now, backdoor, pro bono, helping people freely, one-on-one. -on -one. I call friends, I help them here and there. But we fully became established over two years now, registered and everything, both in Ghana and USA. The team is based in Ghana and I'm based in USA. So actively, official operation has been about two and a half years. We've helped so many nurses from all over the world. UK trained nurses, we've helped about maybe 55 so far who have successfully passed. Some of them are in the immigration phase. And some of them happen to already have their immigration sorted through their husbands or spouses and everything. But passing rates at UPC is very high and I display that on our social media platforms every time. Wow. I'll leave um, screenshots of your social media handles and your channel as well so that people can know you and then, um, you know, contact you personally for help. So after somebody passes NCLEX, what next? So after you pass NCLEX, we make this process very seamless. We don't let you worry at all. You also just find us, register, and then we walk you through every stage. So after you pass, we have employers set aside that you would uh, we set up a meeting between you and the employer and then they tell you what they have. The employer tells you the options they have, nursing home, rehab, hospital, whatever. And then you make the decision. If you like the contracts, we give it to you within 10 working days. You review the contracts, you sign. If you don't like it, we always encourage our applicants to go and shop around. We actually come and ask you, have you done your homework? Have you spoken to anybody? Give us proof of who you've spoken to. Have you looked out there to see what else is there? Because we don't want to push you to go with our employer and then if you end up not liking it, you blame us. So we always tell you, go and shop out there, find whatever it's out there and compare with ours. And if you think ours is better for you, then you go. Our employer does premium processing. Our employer offers between $10,000 to $20,000 sign-on bonus and other packages as well. There are flyers out there and um, you can call the CEO, the direct owner of the company, anytime you want. He calls you on WhatsApp, he calls you on video call, tells you, oh, there's a new opening here. Do you want to change whatever you have? And premium processing. But as I said, there's still a delay because retrogression has a upper hand but their job is to file for you the fast paced one and then keep our fingers crossed and see how it goes so i know that there are certain people that will pay for nclex for you and then when it comes to the us they'll tie you for god knows how many years what is your own like are you going to pay the nclex or the person or the person is paying their own nclex and then what is your contract like are you signing the person for five years and like how does that work you okay guys? so let me go back a little bit so upc is strictly a self-sponsored process meaning that when you as a nurse find out 
have an enroll, you, you pay for everything. And that gives you a lot of upper hand because you self-sponsored yourself. You, you paid everything by yourself. You are able to bargain better when it comes to job employment. But there are other agencies out there who would invest in you, pay for your travel to the um, Enkler Center, and then they determine where they take you, how much they pay you, how many years they tie you down. Our employer has both. They have direct hire and they have the contract. They all have their up and downs or the pros and cons. The direct hire, you're coming from a country, you've never been here, you just come and then you go to the hospital, you start work day one and you are your own for the rest of your life and the immigration process. But if you've signed a contract, then the employer follows through, they check on you, they make sure you get your social security card, they make sure you get your, when it's time for you to get your citizenship and all, they will still work with you using their attorneys. And that's a little perk that comes with it. So it depends on your choice. People say, I want strictly direct hire and that is totally fine fine as well. The employer has, they have both options. So whatever you want, you can have that. Nobody should force you to sign something that you don't want to be tied to. And then who is eligible? Like, for instance, do you need people with only hospital experience, ICU experience, emergency, or even care home nurses in the UK can apply? Okay, so one thing about you is there are so many types of nursing that some even you've never even heard of. <laughs> some people are Disneyland nurses. They work at Disneyland. Some people work in the flights, whatever. So there's a ton of job opportunities for you. Doctors, offices, rehab. Psych nurses always say, do U.S. Yes, we prioritize mental health a lot in the U.S. So there are a lot of locked facilities, Alzheimer's facility, dementia facility. So you'd always have a place to be placed. It's not like limited. So all type of nurses, so far as you have the documentation to prove that you went to nursing school, you graduated and you have a license to prove and you can write and class and pass, you qualify. They can place you anywhere of your choice, even though best side is in high demand because the hospitals are choked. So what is the best way to reach out to you if I'm interested now? So the best way, we have a website, www.usrnpathway.com. That is the website. When you go on onto the website, you see our phone numbers are there. Oh, uh, the best way if you want to get to me directly, that WhatsApp number, that is the USA number on the website. I respond to that message directly. If you have other Ghana numbers, you can call them uh, on direct line. You can call them on WhatsApp and somebody will attend to you. You can send email. We have so many emails on the support info. You can reach out to us. People come to my DM on Instagram personally daily. A lot of messages are in there and I'm very quick supply instagram dms because i'm always on there sharing stuff so yeah that's how they can get to us wow thank you very much and i'll leave all the details and all the numbers on the screen so please do well to send it to me your final words for anybody who's interested okay. so my final words usa is still facing short staff nurses and other skilled workers uh, or health professionals all we call allied so if you have that dream of coming to usa it's not too late the visa you already know that um it's a green card. You already know that it gives you a citizenship. It allows you to bring your spouse and your children who are below 21 years. So you can get in line and get this done. It's never too late. People ask, is there an age limit? No. I said my co-worker is 73. Her name is Caroline and she still comes to work 36 hours and she's still strong, stronger than I am. So there's no age limit. People retire and always come back. If you want to do this and you have the desire, you need big patience because sometimes the evaluation might go through and it's beyond us, but sometimes it will go through easily and the retrogression, you just have to wait in line. So I wish them all the best and hopefully they come join me here. Let's live the American dream. Wow. Well said. Thank you so much, Priscilla. Thank you, Nanel. Please come back and share the travel nurse salary. With your <laughs> Well, I will. I will come back and share. Um, yes.